I thought I would uh, talk a little bit about uh, Takagi-san. Um, I, he, he himself was actually uh, a nuclear chemist uh, who joined the uh, Japanese nuclear industry right at the beginning when everyone thought it was going to be the savior of Japan and provide all the energy which Japan didn't have. Uh, and he was also thought it would be a great idea. He worked with uh, a company affiliated with Toshi Toshiba, which is one of the major Japanese nuclear manufacturers. Um, and, but he quickly became concerned about the dangers of radiation to the general public and that scientists were not being honest to the public about these dangers. In his um, acceptance speech for the Right Livelihood Award, he said one of the most important responsibilities of scientists is to make clear what we know and what we do not know, and also to point out the uncertainties of the scientific and technological project in which we are involved. The more I was concerned, the more deeply I felt how uncertain is the scientific basis for the safety of the nuclear industry. And this marked a turning point in my life as a scientist. So uh, he became completely disillusioned with uh, the nuclear industry, realised uh, how dangerous it was. And so he left the nuclear industry and founded uh, Citizens Nuclear Information Centre which was over 40 years ago, uh, and he served as the director until his death, which was 20 years ago this year. So I was trying to think what would be his urgent message to the world, and uh, as you all know, Japan experienced the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear disaster nine years ago, um, and I think Takagi-san would be appalled that uh, the Japanese government still has a policy of restarting its nuclear power plants. You know, that is a problem. We need to actually um, make it more of an issue, but at the same time we have to make sure that uh, nuclear is not presented as a solution. I think in Japan, because of Fukushima, uh, nobody's ever really, it's very hard to get up and, and say, except if you're the government. But it's very hard for anyone to really get up and seriously say that nuclear is a solution. It really, there's so much that the paid scientists, uh, we have to, as citizens, we have to be empowered to uh, make decisions uh, ourselves. So one of our jobs is to uh, present, the, you know, not, not neutral, it's not science is not neutral, as you pointed out, but to try and uh, present uh, an alternative scientific um, to, to the science that's presented by industry. So I think that Takaki-san's message to us would be that um, nuclear power is never the answer and we have to make sure that we're not fooled by the, the industry scientists. Um, so our work at CNIC is basically to enable citizens to be able to understand the issues associated uh, with nuclear power. And um, certainly I think that uh, the network that Takagi-san uh, belonged to and, and tried to make with the rest of the world is also something that we should be carrying on very strongly. Thank you.